Let's say you hit the brakes to avoid a collision, but they don't work and you crash anyway. Are you at fault because it was your car or does the automaker bear any liability for what happened? Yeah, you know, this is such a kind of a broad question. Uh, typically, if you if, if you do not avoid a collision, typically it's going to be your fault. Um, and, and usually you're going to be cited for following too closely or something of that nature. However, we have seen situations where people have faulty brakes for whatever uh, for whatever reason. It could be some type of manufacturing defect in a recall situation, or it could be uh, we've had many situations where people go and have their cars um, worked on, whether it be tires or brakes, and then a day or two later, either the, the wheel falls off or um, or the brakes don't work. And so it, there can be a situation like that. Typically, it's going to be on the person who's driving their own vehicle, but um, you know, never say never, and sometimes that situation does occur. Each case is different, and in a situation like you're asking, you need to get, you know, first and foremost, you have to have your vehicle, and you have to have that vehicle inspected, and an expert needs to take a look at it, and, um, and, and then you can judge from there whether there's, you know, any reason to, to go further. Any validity to those claims, because I'm sure a lot of people say that, like, oh, it was <clears> the brakes, I didn't, I, it wasn't me not paying attention, right. and, you know. And, and sometimes it is, but you also have to look at the, the facts and uh, situations, you know, or the, the circumstances. If you have an accident um, and there's no injury, then it's not going to really be worth pursuing that situation. We have people call us all the time saying, I was in a little fender bender, I had a head-on collision or you know, I hit someone um, and my airbag did not deploy. Well, you know, under certain circumstances, your airbag should deploy, but if there's no damages, if you're not hurt, then you're not going to necessarily, it's not gonna to rise to the level of trying to sue Ford or GM for you know, a, a $2,000 fender bender. And uh, so each situation you, you have to look and judge differently.